Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings coming up this week. The much talked about Importy Pack plays made good on his eagerly anticipated debut on Jamaican soil. And high flying jockey Radish Roma lands another five timer on Saturday's nine race program at Caymanus Park. In Trinidad and Tobago, it was headlines again for champion trainer John O'Brien, landing a record five consecutive derby wins in on Republic Day, the race card that was on Tuesday. And at Florida's Gulfstream Park, trainer Safi Joseph Jr. won the U.S. $220,000 Princess Rooney Invitational Stakes. Our opening story from Jamaica. The clockers at the exercise track in the morning had the streets buzzing with anticipation over what they describe as record-breaking times during morning warm-ups from this American-bred pack plays. John imposed to position one of a seven-horse field in Saturday's Race 7 overnight allowance race for three-year-olds and up with the sneaky fox Radish Roman in the saddle who made his intentions clear as they dashed for the lead right from the gate. Place has made his intentions known. Attempts to go all the way and has slipped away by maybe eight, ten lengths. Freedom Street in pursuit in second. Money Monster hustled up on the rail and asked to go after that leader as they lead the 716. Three and a half to four lengths back to Perfect Brew. Taurus Boy asked to improve and Super Alex a half a length down last. They leave the three and come toward the final 516. Pack plays out in front under a snug wrap, having a lot in hand. This pack plays and turns her home with a clear advantage. Stepping just off the rail, Money Monster is against it in the red and black. Perfect brew races in the center, but pack plays. The rider has a look under his arm, and it's pack plays now asked to open up once again as the rider becomes a busy man inside the final furlong. It is pack plays. Radish Roman, he has two. He's looking for three, and pack plays on Lester's and Act of God to stop him will not lose the seventh. Pack plays an impressive winner by double digits. Pack plays lives up to the hype and delivers impressively on debut with a mammoth run, winning comfortably off the TV with Jockey Radish Roman smoothly poised in the saddle. An impressive gate to wire finish for the newly imported Pack plays. First time ever competing on a dirt track. First time ever going any distance over five and a half furlongs. Good win for young trainer Ricardo Mati who is closely following in the footsteps of his father, Rohan Matty Sr. Jockey Radish Roman getting the win aboard Pack Plays, who registered a blister in 1 minute 17 and 3 fifths of a second over the 6.5 furlongs distance in front of runner-up Money Miser, followed by third place finisher Perfect Brew. Still at Caymanus Park, Jockey Radish Roman secured five wins from his eight mounts, riding the much fancied Major Danger to victory in Saturday's feature event. It was a highly competitive seven-horse field for the Race 8 feature event on the Saturday card, the second running of the Thunderbird. The field looks like this. Drawn in post position one at odds of 5-2 to two is last year's Derby winner and a champion three-year-old ability. Gate number two occupied by the lesser fancied of trainer Philip Fiani's two entries, the 18-1 to one bet Fearless Soul, former horse of the year further and beyond, will break from gate number three. The Canadian-born Atlantic Convoy, partnered by the Panamanian jockey Victor Sanchez, will break from the four-draw. Jason Acosta's speedster and last year's St. Ledger winner Talitha breaks from gate five. The one-to-one -one even money favorite and the other Philip Fiani entry, Major Danger, would occupy the second-to-last spot at gate number six. And breaking widest of them all was the Gary Sobrati conditioned sensational move in gate seven. Sensational move continues to lead. Major Danger now moving slickly down into second. Toward the outside of those, Atlantic Convoy still in a good spot as they leave the half-mile marker. Thalita making ground on the rail. Further and beyond, tucked in between them, and Fearless Soul continues to run last. But this sensational move, the rider having a peep in his mirrors as they leave the three, leads up by three lengths. Major Danger now sent in pursuit as they're about to arrive at the 516th. Further and beyond, in between horses, Thalita on the rail. Atlantic Convoy out wide, and Fearless Soul now asked to make progress. But it is sensational move, attacked by the favorite Major Danger now, who's scraping paint on the rail. They're inside the final 16th and it is sensational move out in front major danger continues to attack they drive past the furlong pole and major danger now pulls it out of the hat and major danger is coming away in the end a 16th to run they can't catch major danger radish roman will have a four timer on the card and wins the thunderbird with ease fearless soul is second another brilliant ride by the informed jockey radish roman carefully timing his run to perfection before powering home from the furlong pole to get the win 
a fourth win on the Saturday card for the Sneaky Fox and three wins in a row now for the fast improving major, capturing the day's feature event, the Thunderbird Trophy. Also giving champion trainer Philip Fiani a one to finish for the Exacta. A modest 1 minute 25 and 4 for the 7 furlong strip. Major danger getting the better of stablemate Fearless Soul in second place. Third went to Gary Sabrati's sensational move. We now turn our attention to Trinidad and Tobago for the NLCB Trinidad Derby, the most prestigious race on the calendar, and of course the final leg in the Triple Crown series. A Republic Day Classic was set to take place in the NLCB Trinidad Derby, the final leg of the Triple Crown Series at the Santa Rosa Racetrack. It was champion trainer John O'Brien's headlines again, the champion juvenile of 2023 who was back to win the prestigious event. Going up against a small field of seven including his two stable companions, Uncle Rog and Forever Grand, headlines again showed her class early out. They go towards the far turn, headlines again the leader, secret pages is two lengths to find now, back in second spot. Forever Grand is now in moving in third. Unbelievable is going backwards. Hot Rod Cashton is now starting to move. Then Uncle Rog, the trailer is capital T. They come to the top of the stretch with 400 meters to go. And the race for glory here. Headlines again takes oh, the lead here and pulling away from Secret Pages in second. Forever Grand needs to find about six lengths here on her stable mate as they come right inside the final 200 meters. And Headlines again is holding on to that lead. Secret Pages is coming on. Forever Grand may be too late on the scene, but Headlines again is pouring it on. And the champion two-year-old wins the Trinidad Derby in style. A comfortable win for the John O'Brien condition headlines again, cruising home on a post in the last half of the furlong to the line. A maiden derby win for jockey Dylan Kellawan, allowing trainer John O'Brien to once more rewrite the history books with another successive win, making it five consecutive derby wins for the champion trainer. US $16,535 prize money for the 10 furlongs event, Headlines again completing the distance in a decent 2 minutes, 13.53 seconds ahead of second place Secret Pagers and his stable companion Forever Grand in third. It's very unusual talking about stakes wins without mentioning Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. He added to his tally winning the Princess Rooney Invitational Stakes at Gulfstream Park on Saturday. A big $220,000 purse was up for grabs in the Princess Rooney Invitational Stakes race at Gulfstream Park. Of the field of nine, Soul of an Angel was the slowest out of the blocks and trailed the leaders for most of the journey before jockey Daydream Van Dyke ruffled up his reins to get the Safi Joseph condition mirror rolling. Zayas calling on Mary quite contrary while seven lengths off the speed. Soul of an Angel finds her best ride and comes on next. They move to the top of the stretch. A quarter of a mile remains in the Princess Rooney and the favorites in front. Best Dream has the lead. From the back, Orange Cap. Here's Soul of an Angel for a stretch bid. The two favorites begin to square off with an eighth of a mile to go. Aramio and Best Dream an eighth of a mile out, but Soul of an Angel's gobbling up ground. Final eighth of a mile. Best Dream, Soul of an Angel getting to her. Here comes Soul of an Angel. Surging forward now. Soul of an Angel and Drayden Van Dyke on their way to Del Mar. Soul of an Angel completing the seventh furlong strip in one minute, 23.23 seconds. And getting the better of the four to five favorite best dream in second place. Third went to the fast finishing battle cry. The Trinidad and Tobago Triple Crown Series comes to an end with jockey Dylan Callowan getting his first derby win. And a trainer John O'Brien making it five consecutive derby titles. Meanwhile in Jamaica at Kimanas Park, the jockey championship race heats up as the sneaky fast Radish Roman cuts down Temin Foster's lead to just three after a brilliant five race haul on Saturday. We've been at the track covering the sport of kings, top stories and exciting races. See you again next week.